Hello! I'm going to show you the little comb flowers, the little one inch ones. And this is how I keep the nice curve when I take the papers out. So I use a double pointed knitting needle. It's uh, probably about around a, a four millimeter. So I find it's quite helpful. I find if they're too thin, they kind of go through. And if they're too fat, it's kind of hard to use. So four millimeter works well iron iron the crap out of everything so nice big press with the iron on the hottest cotton setting you have don't worry you won't burn the paper sets the edges really 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 nicely Boink. all right so do this guy Turn them around and gently go along the edge with your knitting needle of each one so they're nice and loose. You don't want to flop that back. You want to keep that nice pressed edge. I like to get them all loose before I start taking them out, but you can do whatever you'd like. Alrighty, there we go. So you can use your finger or the knitting needle if you want to use a knitting needle. Put it down near the bottom of the petal and just pop out those little little guys pinch up here and pull out there we go or that guy there is just going to pop out anyway usually the papers come out quite easily Okay, there we go. Make sure they're all pretty looking. And very carefully press again. You want to make sure that everything's going to sit the way that it was sitting. Tend to go straight down and try not to move the iron back and forth or anything. Just literally press it right down. And turn it around. Make sure it is how you'd like it. Give it another good press. And voila. Got a beautifully pressed, nicely turned in. Little flower. Looks like you spent a lot of time doing needle turn up, okay? And you have it.